Hey everyone, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean, this time with the Rivian. Um, we have a, a sunshade for the roof of the Rivian. R1T, R1S coming sometime 2023. So because it's kind of unwieldy to show in the car, I'm going to do a quick unboxing or unpackaging now. Um, and then we'll get in the car and do the installation real quick. So in the package, We have a few things. So first of all, of course, the cover. It kind of comes folded like some sort of demented butterfly and you kind of wrangle it and eventually it'll pop out into shape. And this is what we're going to put in the car. So that's kind of the shape of it. Um, so obviously it just folds up flat to kind of fold it back down. Just kind of grab it in opposite corners. Oops. And just give it a twist, something like that something like that put that there um, it comes with these clips so these clip around the edge uh, hopefully the camera can get that if I get real close but um, I think there's ten of them eight or ten of them in the pack um, just kind of want two on each side maybe one at the back we'll experiment when we install it in the car but um, this piece just clips underneath the the edge of the uh, sunshade and then this bit just kind of pushes into the headliner real easy and then we include a couple of these little magnetic pucks. Um, if I open one up. All right, so you have the puck itself, which um, you hold on to. Then you have this little metal disc and uh, it's self-adhesive as well. So um, my recommendation is you don't have to use both of them if you don't want, but the idea of these is it stops the sag in the middle. So generally speaking, we drive with one, but if you want to use two, that's fine. But they just go, this piece sticks on the glass. And then of course, you know, once it's up, you use this puck just to sucker onto it. And that holds the, the center of the, the sunshade up. So up to you if you want to use one or two, but it just helps kind of when you've got passengers in the middle seat at the back, that the thing isn't kind of sagging down in front of them. And then the last thing, is the sort of thermal shield. So the shade itself, you know, does a pretty good job of deflecting um, heat and uh, light, of course. But if you really want to go for the blackout, then we have this, this thermal layer. It has little um, attachments, little vel Velcro attachments around the edge. So you just put it on top of the um, sunshade and then you get, you know, 100% light reflection from this. So this is an optional piece, but in the summer, especially here in Texas, um, not so much today, um, this will be really useful. All right, so with all that said, we'll get in the car and show you how to do the installation. Thanks. I forgot one thing. So before we get in the car, um, you can see that I've attached the uh, reflective layer to the top of the sunshade. So these both have a certain shape. And if you look on this edge, this kind of has a gentle curve to it. Whereas this, this piece, um, and there's kind of this little sort of tab marker here. Um, is dead straight. So this is the rear, this is the front, and you can see this just attaches with um, with these little Velcro tabs. But if you have um, if you have this turned around, it's not going to qu quite fit right. So I just wanted to show you outside the car. This is how it clips on, and this edge with the curve is what goes to the front, the windshield end of the the roof. Okay, now we'll get inside. Okay, here I am in the back of the truck, um, mostly because I'm recording it so you would probably install this from the front but nevertheless um, here's the sunshade um, I've already fitted the little magnetic disc or this isn't magnetic this is just a little stainless steel disc this puck is what sticks to it like so remember that's to kind of hold up any sag in the middle of the screen if you want to install both of them you are supplied with two um, you know kind of one here one here but I've just gone straight in the middle just kind of eyeballed it down from the um, emergency has a light button good enough you don't need to be too precise so now we're going to uh, unfurl this this is probably where I get lost in it alrighty and then we get it above the, the seats like so so I'm looking for that back mark if you remember um, on the intro video there's a straight edge 
and there's a, an edge with kind of a shallow arc, which is what fits to the front. So I've got the straight edge at the back here. And I'm gonna grab a couple of these clips just to get started. And I'll throw up a quick close up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll throw up a quick close up now of how these clips work, but um, I'm just gonna clip it around the edge of the sunshade on both sides, just to get me started. Put one on the back as well. And they just slide underneath the trim, like that, like that. And then we'll do this one over here. And just kind of the natural spring of the sunshade holds, holds it up there, as you can see. Now I'm going to stick another one over here, like so. One over here. And then I'll do a couple at the front here. And there you have it. You can see that's a perfect fit. And then I'm going to grab my little magnetic puck, find my little disc, like that. And that just holds up the middle of it. Um, if you want to use the, the thermal layer, then as I mentioned, this has a certain orientation as well. So um, the easiest thing to do is to fit it when you're outside the car, just do it in your truck bed like I did, then bring it inside and, and pop it up. So pretty straightforward as well. But there you go. That is our sunshade for the R1T. Thanks for watching.